Hey guys, let's install and configure Heartbeat in this video. Heartbeat allows you to periodically check the status of your services and determine whether they are available or not. Now, for an example, think that you have a web server and if you log into the console of that web server and do a service check on the HTTP service, the service comes back as running. But when you try to load the web page, the web page doesn't load. You get an error on the web page, which means your users are not able to use your website for whatever they were trying to use it for. Now you can use Heartbeat to monitor for those sort of scenarios. So what Heartbeat will do is it will check for a status code back from that web server and if it's not getting that status code back, it will show that web service as unresponsive or down. Now there are three different type of monitors that you can configure inside Heartbeat. First, you can configure an ICMP or a ping monitor. So it basically pings that particular IP address or hostname and if it gets a successful ping, it shows it as up and if it's unsuccessful it shows that monitor as down next you can configure tcp this monitor allows you to connect to a particular endpoint through tcp and you can also modify this monitor to check that the endpoint is up by receiving a custom payload from that endpoint now third you can also configure an http monitor to connect via http to your endpoints this monitor can also be optionally configured to check for specific responses or status codes from your endpoints. Next, there are five steps to install Heartbeat. First, we'll have to install Heartbeat-Elastic package. After that, we'll configure the Heartbeat service. Third, we'll configure MetricBeat to monitor our Heartbeat instance. Fourth, we'll configure our monitors, which is HTTP, ICMP, and TCP monitor. And finally, we'll start and enable the Heartbeat service. So let's move on to the lab. Now here on the lab system, I've got the instructions to install and configure Heartbeat on ELK server on the left hand side. And I've got my SSH connection into my ELK server on the right hand side. Now one thing to note is that we'll be installing Heartbeat only on ELK server in this demo. So to install Heartbeat, let's type in sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get install heartbeat-elastic and hit enter. Now once heartbeat is installed, let's start configuring the heartbeat service. So we need to type in sudo nano slash etc slash heartbeat slash heartbeat.yaml. Now in this yaml file, let's first configure live reload. So change reload.enable to true and we'll leave the default reload period as 5 seconds. After this, let's first comment out all the inline monitors because we'll be using the monitors path to configure these monitors. Now the path is slash etc slash heartbeat slash monitors.d and any YAML file inside this path. So once you've commented out all the inline monitors from this heartbeat.yaml file, let's go to tags and create a tag. Here we'll specify the tag as ELK. Now after that let's move on to Kibana and under Kibana section we'll uncomment the host portion but we'll leave the URL as default localhost 5601. Now let's move on to the Elasticsearch output and we'll leave the URL as default localhost 9200. Change the protocol to HTTP and we'll provide the authentication details. Now after that let's move on to logging section. We'll uncomment logging level. We'll also uncomment logging selectors, but keep the default values for both. Now I'll copy this configuration from my instructions to specify logging to go to a file. Now once this is configured, we can now configure HTTP monitoring for our heartbeat instance. So I'll copy these two values. Now if you'll notice, we're using port 5069 for monitoring for our heartbeat instance we'll add this port into our beta expect configuration file after this so let's save this file for now now let's first go to our metric beat so etc metric beat modules.d and beat expect.yml file to configure monitoring on port 5069 Here I'll add a comma 
And now I'll add the URL. So HTTP localhost 5069. Now I can save this file. Let's now first check metric bit is running. So sudo systemctl status metric bit. It's running. Now let's also double check that bit expack is enabled. So sudo metric bit modules list and you can see bit expack is under enabled. So that's all good. Now let's clear out of everything and we can start our heartbeat instance. So sudo systemctl start heartbeat dash elastic. Now let's first check for the status of this service. Make sure it's running. It is and now it's time to configure our monitors. So to do that, let's first go to etc heartbeat and monitors.d. Here you'll see that there are some sample monitor files available. We'll use these and customize them to create our own monitor files. So first I'll type in sudo copy sample icmp.yaml.disable and I'll copy it to icmp.yaml. Now I'll do a nano on icmp.yaml to configure our icmp monitor. Now for our icmp monitor, we'll first have to change the ID and name. For ID, I'll use icmp-status. For name, I'll use icmp status check. Now let's uncomment this to enable the monitor. Now we'll leave the schedule as default every five seconds so that our hosts that we specify under the hosts array are pinged every five seconds and we'll have to specify a list of hosts here. Now what I'll do is I'll first specify the internal IP address of our web server one and then just to demonstrate I'll add the external IP address of our web server two. So 192.168.2.19 which is the internal IP address of my web server one. I'll do a comma space and I'll copy the IP address of my web server to here. Now what I'll also do is I'll just add a publicly accessible external IP address here as well and this IP address 8.8.8 .8 .8 is always up. Now next we'll leave the mode as default. You can disable by IPv6 right now but let's leave it as default. You can also specify a timeout or a wait. We'll go to tag section next and add a tag called web tier and now we can save this file. Once this is done, let's move on and configure our TCP monitor. To do that, let's just copy the sample TCP monitor file. So sudo copy sample tcp.yaml.disable to tcp.yaml and now let's modify this tcp.yaml. Now here, first we'll have to specify the ID again. So let's type in SSH status because we'll use this monitor to check the status of SSH connection and under name I'll type in SSH status check. Now after this let's enable the monitor. We'll leave the schedule as default 5 seconds and under hosts I'll specify the internal IP address of my web server 1 and I'll specify the port. So the SSH port is 22. Now I can either specify the port here or specify a list of ports to ping if the host can, does not contain a port number under the ports option. So these are the two places you can specify ports. We'll leave all the other values as default. One thing to note is you can use check, send and receive to add custom payloads but we'll move on to the tag section and add the tag for web tier and I'll save this file now. Next let's move on and copy the HTTP monitor. So sudo copy sample dot http dot yaml dot disable to http dot yaml now let's modify http dot yaml so sudo nano http dot yaml file here under id i'll specify web status and name could be web status check let's enable the monitor and under hosts i'll add my elastic and my kibana url now after that i'll have to specify authentication because of we've configured XPAC on our system. So I'll type in the username and password. So Elastic and the password for Elastic user. Now we can use the other settings to specify a custom status check or a custom payload on this request as well. But we'll leave these as default and move on to the tags portion. Specify the tag as web tier. Let me uncomment this 
and now we can save this file as well now before we move on let's check for the status of our heartbeat service once again it's running so now let's move on to our kibana web page now the first thing to check would be that heartbeat appears under stack monitoring so let's go to home and then stack monitoring here let's click on demo elk and let's go down to beats and as you can see we've got heartbeat under beats now we can click on beats and then heartbeat to check for the status of our heartbeat instance now for the actual monitors we need to go to our home page and then uptime under observability here you can look for all the monitors that were up or down now by the looks of it all our monitors are up right now you can use the filter up and down to filter against a specific status that you want now on top right you can specify the time so for example you can specify if you want the data from 15 minutes ago or 15 days or hours ago you can also specify the amount of time or you can specify an absolute time now you can also check for ports now we've got three ports configured 9200 22 and 5601 for our checks you can specify the scheme icmp http or tcp to filter out the endpoints or you can look for tags so we've got elk and web tier tag so let's click on web tier so if you do that you'll only see the monitors that are specific to that particular tag so with this we have come to the end of this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next one if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel